Greeting everyone and welcome to Yazencom channel. The presence of salts in crude oil provides serious problems to drilling, pumping, and refining processes. Also, high salts can cause corrosion problems and clogging of pipelines. In this video, we will talk about the salt in crude analysis, the preparation, the calibration, and the testing. Now for the preparation, we start with the purity of reagent. Use only reagent grade chemicals in all the tests. Second thing, purity of water. Use reagent water prepared by distillation with a conductivity of less than 1 microsiemens per centimeter at 25 degrees. To prepare mix alcohol solvent, mix 63 volume of 1 butanol and 37 volume of methanol and hydros. For each 1 liter of this mixture, add 3 ml of water. Now, the mixed alcohol solvent is suitable for use only if its conductivity is less than 0.25 mA at 125 volt. A high conductivity can be because the solvent have excess amount of water or the methanol being used is not anhydrous. Now we need to prepare 3 mix salt solution and we will start with the calcium chloride solution 10 gram per liter. Transfer 1 gram plus or minus 0.01 gram of a calcium chloride into 100 ml volumetric flask and dissolve in 25 ml of water. Then dilute it to the mark with the mixed alcohol solvent. A second one, magnesium chloride solution 10 gram per liter. Transfer 1 gram plus or minus 0.01 gram of magnesium chloride into 100 ml volumetric flask and dissolve in 25 ml of water. Dilute to the mark with a mixed alcohol solvent. The last one, sodium chloride solution 10 gram per liter. Transfer 1 gram plus or minus 0.01 gram of sodium chloride into 100 ml volumetric flask and dissolve in 25 ml of water. Again, dilute to the mark with mixed alcohol solvent. After you prepare these three salts, it's the time to prepare the concentrated solution. Combine 10 ml of calcium chloride solution, 20 ml of magnesium chloride solution, and 70 ml of sodium chloride solution and mix them. Now you need to prepare a diluted solution out of that. So transfer 10 ml of this concentrated mixed solution into 1000 ml volumetric flask and dilute it to the mark with mixed alcohol solvent. Now you need to have a neutral oil free of salt or desalted oil because you will need this one for your calibration. Now let's start the calibration, establish blank measurement into dry 100 ml graduated cylinder, add 15 ml of xylene. Use 10 ml bibit or 10 ml graduated cylinder to add 10 ml of neutral oil, rinse the 10 ml with the xylene until it's free of oil. Make up to 50 ml with the xylene, stopper and shake the cylinder vigorously for approximately 60 seconds. Dilute to 100 ml with a mixed alcohol solvent. Again, shake the cylinder vigorously for approximately 30 seconds. Plank reading should be less than 0 0.25 mA at 125 volt. Now allow the solution to stand approximately 5 minutes. Power the solution into a dry test beaker. Immediately place the electrode into the solution in the beaker. And make sure the upper edge of the electrode plates are below the surface of the solution. Adjust the meter to the required voltage and measure the current to the nearest 0 0.01 mA. Repeat step 1 to 3 then add a quantity of diluted max salt solution in accordance with your calibration ring. And proceed to step number 4 to add mixed solvent up to 100 mA. Prepare different concentration of mixed salt solution and read in milliampere. You can check at a different voltage, it depends on your working ring. 
you can construct a linear curve of the salt concentration with the milliampere. Now let's do the testing. Into a dry 100 milli graduated cylinder, add 50 milli of xylene. Transfer 10 milli of a crude oil sample into 100 milli graduated cylinder. Rinse the 10 milli bipitori 10 milli graduated cylinder with xylene until free of oil. Make up to 50 milli with xylene. Stop burr and shake the cylinder vigorously for approximately 60 seconds. Dilute the 100 ml with a mixed alcohol solvent and again shake vigorously for approximately 30 seconds. Allow the solution to stand for approximately 5 minutes. Power it into a dry test beaker. Immediately place the electrode into the solution in the beaker and read to the nearest 0.01 mA. Remove the electrode from the solution, rinse with the xylene followed by hexane and allow them to dry. We reached to the end of today's lesson. I hope it was useful for you guys. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you think this video was useful. Try to share it with your friends. Thank you for watching and see you next time.